Hi everyone, I'm Patrick and in this video we do the Pandas Ultra Quick Tutorial by Google together. So they have one ultra quick tutorial on NumPy and one on Pandas and I can put the links in the description below. So in this one let's open up the Pandas Ultra Quick Tutorial. So this is a short Google Colab. This is not comprehensive but it will give you a first nice introduction. So Pandas is one of the most important libraries in Python for data science and the central object in Pandas is the data frame. This is similar to an in-memory spreadsheet so we can store data in cells and typically we have columns and numbered rows. So we import NumPy as NP and import Pandas as PD. So this is the convention, how we import it. So let's run this cell. And then here we learn how we create a data frame. So a data frame can be uh, created by a NumPy array. So first here we create a NumPy array. So this should be five by two. So notice that here we have a list of lists. Then we create column names. So this is again a list with two strings. And then we create our data frame by calling pd.dataframe and we give it the data and the column names. And then let's run this and print this and see how this looks like. So yeah, here we see we have our five by two data frame now. We have five rows and two columns and we see the column names on top. Then let's learn how we add a new column to a data frame. So this is actually pretty simple. So we call our data frame and then put in a new column like this. So like with a dictionary, we just define a new column name. And here we use the values from another column and then add two to each single entry. So now if we run this, then we should see a five by three data frame. And here we have our new column adjusted. And if we compare it to the activity column, then each value is increased by two. Now to specify a subset of a data frame, we have different options. So in the first example, we want to access the rows 0, 1 and 2. And we can get this by calling data frame dot hat and then 3. So we put in the number of rows we want. Then if we only want a specific row, we can call data frame dot I lock and then the number of the row and um, be careful here. So here we use a inner list for the index. So then we get the whole row two. Then if you want specific rows from one, two and three and not from the beginning, we can put in my data frame and then access it like list slicing from one to four excluded. And if we only want to have a column, we can access it by the column name like so, so like with a dictionary. So let's run this. And then here we see the first example, only the first three rows, then here only row two, here rows one, two and three, and here only the column temperature. So then we get a first task that we should do. So we should do the following, create a three by four pandas data frame with these column names. Then we should populate the cells with random integers. Then we should output the entire frame and output only row one of the Eleanor column. And we should create a fifth column named Janet, which is populated with the row by row sums of two other columns. So I recommend that you pause this video here and do this exercise for yourself. And then we see each other in a moment. All right, so I've written the code here. So first I define the column names as a list of strings. Then I define the data. So for this, we can use a function from numpy, numpy.random.randint with the low zero and the high 101. So be careful here because we want 100 included. Then we define the size. So here we want to have a three by four shape. Then we define our data frame like this. So pd.dataframe and give it the data and the column names. Then we should print this. 
Then we should print the value in row one of the Eleanor column so we can access the column so simply with the key and then we can access the row with the one here. Then we should add a new column. So as I said, we can simply do it like this. So we can put in a new column name like this and it should be a sum of two other columns. So we can simply use the sum operations on two columns and then print the data frame. So let's run this and see if this works. And if we double click and see the solution, then I think they did pretty much the same. Yep. And here's an optional part about copying a data frame. So with this, we have to be careful. And this is the same as when we want to copy Python lists or NumPy arrays. So if we just do it like this by assigning it to another data frame, then we only copy the reference. And this means that if we modify one of them, then we also modify the other one. So in this code example, first we only copy the reference, then here we print both of them, then here we modify only data frame, but now if we print both of them, then you should see that both of them have been changed. So to get an actual true copy of a data frame, you should call my data frame dot copy and then assign it to another one. So now if you modify one of them and print them, then you should see that the other one hasn't been changed. All right, then that's all that we learned in this Pandas Ultra Quick tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.